You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. very upset. He had lost his beloved dinosaur, Rexy. He couldn't find him anywhere. Rexy, where are you? Rexy? continued his search in the backyard. But Rexy wasn't in the sandbox. And Caillou hadn't left him in his toy dump truck. Huh? <gasps> A kitten! Oh, you're so cute! Caillou suddenly forgot all about his missing dinosaur. Caillou's family did their best to make the kitten feel at home. I guess she isn't thirsty right now. Kitty, play? I don't think she wants to play right now, Rosie. Maybe she's a little tired. Maybe she's hungry. <coughs> Gilbert wasn't very happy with his new visitor. But Caillou was. Can we keep Jolie? Please, Mommy. Please, Daddy. Jolie? <sighs> I'm sorry, Caillou. We already have a cat, Gilbert. And I'm afraid one is enough. Besides, the kitten, Jolie, probably belongs to someone else. Think of how worried they must be knowing she's lost. Yeah, I guess. But. Can Jolie stay for now? Mommy and Daddy could hardly say no. They were just as concerned about the kitten as Caillou was. Of course. And you can help me hang some lost kitten posters around the neighborhood to see if we can find Jolie's owner. Okay? Okay. Caillou and Daddy got to work making lost kitten posters. Only Caillou's heart wasn't in it. Daddy, Jolie chases string. And she knows how to play with a ball. I wish Jolie could stay here. She's fun. She is fun. But you know we can't keep her, Caillou. Besides, we have Gilbert. He likes to play, too. I guess so. Get it, Gilbert! growing rather attached to Jolie. He didn't mind sharing his things. Can I keep Rosie room? But he did mind sharing Jolie. No, Rosie. I found her. Jolie's mine. She can sleep here from now on. 
It seemed Caillou had grown a little too attached to Jolie. I wonder who that could be. Maybe it's Sarah. I can't wait to show her Jolie. Hi. I don't mean to bother you, but I saw this poster and think you may have found my lost kitten, Whiskers. Whiskers? Yes, that's what I call her. She went missing yesterday when my family moved some furniture into our house. You must have been so worried. Yes, we've been looking everywhere for Whiskers. I'm so glad you found her. Actually, it was Caillou who found her. Caillou, you remember Samantha from the community center? Yes. Hi, Samantha. Hi. Caillou, why don't you go find Jolie, uh, Whiskers, and bring her here for us? Do we have to give Jolie back? Yes. It's only fair that she go back to her owner, Caillou. Won't you come in? Thank you. Hmm. I don't want to give Jolie back. Caillou didn't think it was fair that he had to return Jolie. They had become good friends. Jolie? Jolie, where are you? Jolie? Rexy, you found him, Jolie. Caillou remembered how he felt when he searched for his missing dinosaur. It wasn't fun losing something that meant a lot to him. Caillou realized Samantha probably felt the same way about her kitten. Come on, Jolie. There's somebody who really wants to see you. It was a wonderful thing for Caillou to return the kitten. Oh, Whiskers! To her rightful owner. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much for finding Whiskers and for taking care of her. You're very welcome. She was no trouble, right, Caillou? She's great. We had lots of fun. Well, you know, you can come and visit us whenever you like, as long as it's okay with your mom and dad. Really? Really. Whiskers would love that, wouldn't you, Whiskers? Bye-bye, <laughs> Whiskers. <laughs> well, I know somebody who's happy to see Whiskers go. I'm glad you're staying, Gilbert. <laughs> Caillou's favorite sweater. One day, Caillou's grandma gave him a wonderful present that she had made just for him. Whoa! Lovely. I put a train on it because I know you like trains. And on the sleeves are the train tracks. <laughs> That's right. Do you like it? Yes, thank you, Grandma. I'm going to wear it always. Caillou loved his special sweater very, very much. He loved it so much, he didn't want to take it off, ever. Are you sure you're not going to be too hot in that? No, I'm okay. Good night, Mommy. Good night, Caillou. Very excited to show his sweater to his friends. Look, it's a train. And train tracks. Choo choo. Yeah, my grandma made this for me. I love your sweater, Caillou. Hey, let's play train. All aboard. Choo choo. He wore it to preschool every day. By the end of the week, it still had a train on it, but also some juice spills, dirt spots, and grass stains, too. Hurry up, Caillou! I thought 
I put that sweater in the laundry hamper? I took it out. But Caillou, it's getting so dirty. And it's very warm today. Too warm for sweaters. Can I just wear it one more day, please? <laughs> All right, one more day. But then I'm washing it. Whoa, it is hot. Let's take the sweater off. I can take it home for you. No, I want to keep it. All right, here. Don't forget, Leo's mom will walk you home after school today. Okay, bye, Mommy. Bye, By the end of the day, Caillou's sweater was becoming quite a bother. Come on, Caillou. <laughs> oh, just a minute. Now, where is your sweater? I'll put it in the laundry hamper. <gasps> My sweater! I left it at school, in the sand. We have to go get it. No, Caillou. It's too late now. We'll go first thing in the morning. What if something happens to it? The preschool gate will be locked, Caillou. Don't worry. I'm sure it will be fine. Good night. Good night. Caillou was very worried. He didn't want anything bad to happen to that sweater. He was so worried that when he fell asleep, he dreamed about his sweater. Caillou, what's wrong? Some birds took my sweater and made a nest out of it. Sounds like a bad dream to me. Just a dream. <sighs> well, it's pretty early, but since we're up, why don't you and I go to the school and get your sweater back? Okay. For me, Caillou. Caillou hoped his sweater was all right. He would feel terrible if it was lost or ruined. It's here! Daddy, it's still here! And it needs a wash. It sure does. Caillou asked Daddy to wash his sweater right away. And later that afternoon... It's dry! Okay, Caillou. Hello, Caillou. What are you doing? Hi, Grandma. I'm putting my sweater away. I forgot it at school yesterday, and it was outside all night. From now on, I'm going to take good care of it. I'll keep it in here, and I won't wear it at all. I'm glad you want to take care of your sweater, Caillou. But I made it for you to wear and enjoy. I didn't make it so it could sit in a drawer. So, I'll wear it sometimes, but not all the time. Only when it's cold out. And I won't take it off and leave it anywhere. And when you get too big for it, I'll knit you a new one. Is that a deal? Deal. Caillou was certainly glad his sweater was okay. He wished the weather would turn cold again so he could wear his sweater.
Rosie, not yet. How's that model coming along, Caillou? I wish it came put together. Really? Isn't putting the model together part of the fun? I just want it to be finished so I can bring it to show and tell. No, Caillou are done. Uh, no. Not even close. Hey, you have a cadaver. Rosie tried to use her magic wand to make it all done. But that didn't help. Oh, not on my truck. The next morning, Caillou was tired of working on his model. <sighs> it's never going to be finished. Caillou are done? No, I am not done. And I quit. You know, Caillou, it might be a good idea if you took a break for a little while. Why don't you come with me while I run an errand? Um, okay. <laughs> Where are we going, Daddy? We're going to return a baseball glove to my friend Eric at his workplace. Caillou was a little confused. There weren't any buildings around. Where did Eric work? Hi there. Thanks for bringing my mitt. I can't believe I left it on the field. You're definitely going to need it tomorrow for the big game. Caillou, you remember Eric from the park? Uh-huh. What are you digging? Are you a construction worker? <laughs> no, I'm an archaeologist. A what? An archaeologist is someone who looks for things that are buried in the ground. That's right. This is my dig site. The things that I find often help me learn about the people who lived here a long time ago. Caillou was very curious. He wanted to know more about this place. So, you dig up the ground? I do, but I dig very carefully. Let me show you. Say, Caillou, can you pass me my trowel? It's the mini shovel. The one that looks like you could flip pancakes with it. Is it this one? You got it. It's one of my favorite digging tools. Eric has found all sorts of things here. Old beads and pots and old coins. So being an archaeologist is like digging for pirate treasure. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Only I don't get to keep what I find. It all goes to the museum. That way, everyone has a chance to learn about the past. How people lived, what they ate, what tools they used. Say, can you pass me that scoop? This one? That's the one. Boy, you're a natural at this, Caillou. Now follow me. Sometimes I run the dirt through this special screen. It snags any tiny objects, so I don't miss anything. How'd you like to be my helper? Really? Okay. You can help me run some water over the screen to push the dirt through. Although, I should warn you, it can get a little muddy. That's okay. I like mud. <laughs> I can vouch for that. Caillou loves digging in dirt. <laughs> You'll fit right in around here. <laughs> Look, we found something. Wow, you sure did. Way to go. But it's just a tiny broken piece. Well, it looks like it's part of something bigger, like a pot. Really? Yes, and if I keep digging, I'll probably find enough pieces to put the pot back together. Whoa! 
Now, this is an example of an old clay pot that I managed to put back together. It's made of tiny pieces. That's right, many, many pieces that were fit together. Like a puzzle. Or like the model you're building, Caillou. A model, huh? Uh-huh. It's a dump truck, but I quit working on it because it was taking me too long. Sometimes things take a lot of hard work and patience, but it really is worth it in the end. Yeah. I'd love to see your model when it's done. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> When Caillou got home, he went right to work on his model. It was a big job. But he wasn't giving up this time. <gasps> now Caillou are done? Yes! Ooh! Ooh, I have a question. Caillou, how long did it take you to finish it? It took me a long, long time, but it was worth it. Indeed. Caillou had even decided he'd build another model one day. Mm -hmm.